today, I will discuss on how to find the hypotenuse of a right triangle. First, what is a right triangle? A right triangle is a triangle in which one angle is a right angle. Right angle measures 90 degrees. Suppose we have triangle A, B, C. Line segment BC measures 9 units. Line segment CA measures 40 units. So, how do we find line segment BA? We will use C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. C squared is equal to 9 squared plus 40 Squared. C squared is equal to 81 plus 1,600. C is equal to the square root of 1,681. And C is equal to 41 units. And that's how we find the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So, how do we identify the given three sides of a triangle would form a triangle? All you have to do is use the triangle inequality theorem, which states that the sum of the two sides of the triangle is greater than the third side. If this is true, for three combinations, you will form a triangle. Examples. Five. 8 and 9. The first combination is 5 plus 8. It should be greater than 9. So 5 plus 8 is 13 and it is greater than 9 so it is right. Then the second combination is 8 plus 9 should be greater than 5. 8 plus 9 is 17 and it is greater than 5, so it is right. And the last one is 5 plus 9 should be greater than 8. 5 plus 9 is 14, which is greater than 8, so it is right. So the given, the given value of the triangle is 5, 8, 9, so it will form a triangle. Today, I will discuss about the similarities of right triangle on how to find the value of x on the given example. So, in the figure, CD is an attitude drawn to the hypotenuse AD. If AD is equal to 3x plus 4 and DB is equal to x plus 2 and CD is equal to x plus 8, find the value of x and line segment AC and line segment CD. So, the first process you will do is use the formula CD is equal to the square root of AD times DB. Then, try to substitute now. X plus A is equal to the square root of DX plus 4 times X plus 2. So, to cancel the radical sign, you should square both equations. So it is now x plus 8 squared is equal to 3x plus 4 times x plus 2. So try to solve now. So x plus 8 squared is x squared plus 16x plus 64 is equal to 3x plus 4 times x, x plus 2 is equal to 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. So, 
try to transpose now. 0 is equal to 3x squared minus x squared plus 10x minus 16x plus 8 minus 64. Then it will be 2x squared minus 6x minus 56. So, to factor easily, try to divide the equation into 2. So, now, it will be x squared minus 3x minus 28. So, factor now x squared minus 3x minus 28. So, your factor will be x plus 4 times x minus 7. So, x plus 4 is equal to 0 and x minus 7 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 4, x is equal to 7. So, x, the value of x is 7 units. It will never be negative 4 because this is extraneous. So, try to substitute now. So, the x will be 7. So, 7 plus 8 is 15. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 4, 25. 7 plus 2 is 9. So, to find the x segment is AC, use the formula AC is equal to the square root of AD times AB. So, try to substitute now. AC is equal to the square root of 25 times 34. So, AC is equal to 5 square root of 34 units. So, to find CB, use the formula CB is equal to the square root of DB times AB. So, try to substitute now. CB is equal to the square root of 9 times 34. So, CB is equal to 3 square root of 34 units. So, that's all. Thank you. Today, I will show you how to solve a problem about a champion. So, we are tasked to find the perimeter of this triangle. To find a champion, you will use AB over BC times CD over DE times EF over FA is equal to 1. So, let's substitute the values. X plus 1 over X plus 7 times X plus 25 over 30 times 10 over x minus 3 is equal to 1. So now, let's try to solve this problem. We can go as, we can get the last term of these numbers. So, x plus 1 times x plus 25 over 3 times x plus 7 <laughs> times x minus 3 is equal to 1. x plus 1 times x plus 25 
is equal to x squared plus 26x plus 25 over 3x squared plus 12x minus 63 is equal to 1. So this will become x squared plus 26x plus 25 is equal to 3x squared plus 12x minus 63. So now, let's transpose. 0 is equal to 3x squared minus x squared plus 12x minus, 25, minus 26x minus 63 plus minus 25. So, 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 14x minus 88. These numbers are divisible by 2. x squared minus 7x minus 44. So the factor of this trinomial is x minus 11 times x plus 4. x minus 11 is equal to 0 x plus 4 is equal to 0. x is equal to 11 and x is equal to negative 4. Units. We will use this x because it has a positive value. We can use the negative value because it is an extraneous Now, 11. 11 plus 1 is equal to 12. 11 plus 7 is equal to 18. 11 plus 25 is equal to 36. And 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. So now, Let's get the perimeter. 12 plus 18 plus 36 plus 30 plus 10 plus 8. So the perimeter of this triangle is 104 units.